Yo, this is Grays on the 5th of November. <laughs> oh my god. On the 7th of November uh, 2012. And um, this is the Wower Gold Brainstorms minicast. Hopefully, ep episode 3. <laughs> um, anyways, let's talk about the Iron Paw Shuffle. Um, when it comes to cooking and the change changes that they added to uh, Mr. Pandaria cooking, um, there's a lot of things in there that I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm currently the guild banker and I'm helping out the guild, you know, sorting out mats and, and really updating the stuff that's in there. There's been a lot of garbage. And um, the thing is, I actually, because I had... I, I had a choice because I don't really have as much gold as I'd like to but then again I'm I'm playing the game more than I'm on the auction house so it's it really comes down to you know doing what you have time to do and what you really want to do so what I did was I used the um, the gold uh, in the guild vault and then um, bought mats like ghost iron ore um, trillion bars Shot crystals, ethereal shards, um, uh, leathers, um, cloths, you know, flasks, all kinds of different materials. And um, the thing that happened was that the guild bank was actually pretty, because uh, we had, you know, we were, we were up uh, 100k. And um, so I, I actually burnt like, let's say we're down like 60 something now. Um, and I have some of that gold on my on my hunter, but there's not much because at the same time as I'm using the gold and spending gold, I'm also uh, selling some stuff on the auction house, and that is then used in order to help the guild out. So it's kind of like a what I'm doing right now is really if, like a kind of I was about to call it fair trade, but it's it's like a I don't know it's it's kind of like using the the guild bank as a real bank, you know, like you borrow gold from the guild bank in order to help the guild and what I'm doing now with the iron paw tokens is I'm buying mats wow this is beautiful I'm, I'm buying mats I'm down here by the seaside again by the boats and I'm loving this lunch break but anyways um wow this is awesome <laughs> repeat <laughs> uh, never mind but yeah so so what I'm doing is I've been buying tons of meat couple of veggies if they've been cheap but mostly meats uh, reef octopus uh, some mushan mushan ribs t um, tons of turtle meats uh, I had fished up uh, quite a lot of tiger gourami uh, there's some emperor salmons all kinds of stuff and then there's people that have put in mats in the um, guild bank so what I've done is I've been trading tons of that for materials for cooking now something that I didn't think of was because I mean sometimes I would use the the turtle meat and trade it in for meats and I was kind of like hey this is a good way to make gold whatever blah blah you know once once we get going with the greatest feast feast that you can get whatever that name is kind of banquet whatever um, I don't keep track of the names I just keep track of the buffs <laughs> but because um, I mean I am a slacker after all so uh, so the thing is with these iron pot tokens and the veggies I mean you get 25 vegetables so when you're leveling, when you're leveling the great ways and stuff, well, uh, when you're doing these banquets for different pots, steamer, whatever, walks, um, brews, uh, what you do is you make the one that gives you eight points. It takes a hundred veggies, it takes twenty meats, twenty fish, and one uh, soy sauce. So what you do is you trade the the cheapest meats that you can find, because usually, like if you have to trade in. Yes, this is Gray's. Um, yesterday I did a recording, but uh, it was cut off four minutes in because I was I got a phone call. Uh, so and I didn't hear the phone call, so I didn't know that that um, the recording was cut off. So we're gonna try and redo this. Um, I'm actually gonna put the sound on so that I can hear. Hold on. Yeah, so that I can hear if. Uh, if someone calls or something, but anyways, um, so iron pot tokens, that was what I was trying to talk about yesterday, and I got going, and 
let's see if I can get going again because I was on a good rant yesterday. But um, anyways, so with Iron Part Tokens, what I'm doing is uh, since I'm the guild banker um, uh, in my mains guild, it's a social guild. Uh, we we're doing ten mans uh, at least once a week. Uh, we did tw uh, two raids last week. I didn't have time to join. Well, I had time, but I uh, was not invited. Yeah, rage quit. <laughs> So, so, um, and I'm not sure I'll have time this weekend, but anyway, so we're doing 10 mans, and, uh, the thing is, I came to the conclusion, especially since I became the, uh, because I was promoted to guild banker, because I've been complaining about the guild bank since, um, Wrath, and this is something that I've, that I've mentioned before, so, but, um, on these recordings, and, um, anyways, the thing is, since I became the guild banker, I, uh, I've been thinking about it, and I've been uh, doing some reading and some research, and kind of like you know, what do other people you know use the guild banks for? What do they have in them? And because uh, I knew what wasn't working, you know, we had tons of old mats that no one really needed. Um, so I was, you know, I was kind of like, okay, we have a raiding guild. They use like flasks, gear, um, mats for crafting. Um, might be other, you know, rep reputation related stuff. Um, and also, I mean, the the more serious the guild is, the more useful things there are in there, and the more tightly knit um, the security behind the guild is, in a sense. So it's only like officers taking things out out of certain tabs and whatnot. But um, and I know that we've had some um, in the guild, we've had some issues with people getting hacked and stuff. So there's um, we definitely need to look into like how many stacks of each item should we have available so that people, like, if they do get hacked, uh, we don't lose everything we have in there or whatever. And also, I made sure that my bankers only, um, I like, it's only my main that has the, the rank. So even if I'd get hacked with an authenticator and whatnot, um, you wouldn't be able to take everything out in one day because, um, well, never mind that. So, <laughs> anyways... <laughs> I'm loving this. Um, oh, and that's another thing. I, I, I don't really, I don't really cut things out of these recordings. And pardon me for the little burp, but I don't, I don't really edit these. I mean, I do edit them, but I don't cut and paste in them. You know, I just let them be as is because I really like the whole free flow feeling of just talking, walking. Um, and um, lunch breaks fit perfectly for that. So, um, no, but with the iron pot tokens, the thing is. Uh, being guild banker and all, it's an, it's an awesome thing. You know, cooking is really important, this expansion. Um, with the fortune cookies in Cataclysm, for my part, I just used those because I was kind of like, okay, if I have a chance to get whatever it is, uh, card that I want, um, you know, I might get it. I mean, the chances are very fucking slim. I haven't got it, personally. Uh, I've got the 1K card, but not the 5K one. And... Um, and I mean, just just a chance being there, you know, it's kind of like an addiction using those. But then the the food buffs are better now. I mean, you, the main stats are at least 250, so that's quite a huge jump um, from the old 90 versions. And with those, yeah, I mean, you 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 could basically be a scribe and just you know print print food in a sense, you know, using the Blackfellow inks and turn them into fortune cookies uh, from serious cards. But anyways, um, so you combine you'd combine uh, the the scribe with uh, cooking, so you could use them both. Um, what I'll do is I'll have the mysterious fortune cookies. And well, sorry, the mysterious fortune cards that wouldn't sell. I'll have those and send them over to my cook, my main, and then just you know cook them up. But I'm not gonna be ranting on that forever. But what is this? <laughs> so shit, man. Sometimes it just doesn't flow. Um, so the thing is, um, with the iron pot tokens, what you can do and what I've done is I've um, I've been fishing quite a lot. I got the tiger gourami. I uh, got a like, fish 200 something of those. Bought some when they were cheaper and stuff. Um, and then uh, turtle meat's been farming some of those. But I don't really like the the drop rate is not anywhere near where I want it to be for it to be worth my time. So I don't really farm those actively. Um, I had one spree where I was killing them for like one and a half hours or something. But I just felt like this is not worth my time. I mean, I did it. It worked. But I mean. Uh, it wasn't optimal because I wasn't really, I mean, I, I still had things to do in real life while doing it. So it was, I don't know, it was just, I don't know, farming doesn't work right now for my part. So 
And I'm not doing dailies at all. That feels great. I'm not doing one single daily at all. It might be during the weekends, but I'm not touching them. I don't really need them. I got 468 eye level right now. Um, so that's that's good times, man. You know, run the LFR when I have time, which I don't have time to run. So, and then um, you know, hope for gear drops, and eventually I'll be able to run the Heart of Fear one, and uh, you know, get drops from there. So I mean, there's no real need for dailies. Um, the problem is the time that it takes to run the LFR. I mean, if this is not Dragon Soul, um, this will take time. You know, people need to learn fights, and there's stuff happening in there. There's mechanics you can't ignore, and you know. So, there's tons of things, but um, anyways, with the Iron Pot tokens, what I've done is a mix of, uh, since I, I borrowed, well, I gave the guild 100k back in Kata, and I've given some other amounts like earlier, but anyways, I gave, I gave him 100k, this was when I got back uh, to the game after being pretty damn bored, I'd hit the million and whatnot, and uh, you know, been on a break, came back, and I just felt like, okay, the gold, I don't mean, what, what's the point of it, why should I care, and uh, so I gave 100k, you know, helped the guild out, and the funny part now is, in uh, Mists, since I'm loving the damn game, not even really into gold making, I mean, I can do some stuff, I'm doing like, um, the Darkmoon cards, but I'm not really spending as much time as I could in it, so that I could, um, well, not even as I could, I'm not really... I don't know, it's kind of interesting, because um, I'm doing decks, and currently I've only made two. The first one I used, the Tiger's deck, got that on my main, uh, so I got the Relic of Shuan, whatever that name is, and then um, right now I got the Relic of Chi G, whatever, thinking of Chen Stormstout's song at the soundtrack, great tune, fifth track, check that out, the, the Traveler's Path, you can check that on YouTube as well, great stuff. Um, I use it for my kid, Little Grays. He listens to it uh, every now and then. You know, I play it for him, trying to keep him calm because it's very, it's got this lullaby feel to it. So I like that. Um, so what I've done is I've, I became the guild banker and I've been using gold to make gold, but not, um, not kind, not not as I would back in the day where it's a simple. Okay, I take out 10k, I make 20, put 20 in. No. What I do is I take out stuff that's garbage or that might be useful, try and set it on the auction house. If it doesn't work, I vendor it because, you know, bag space is, a, is an issue and I won't rant on that right now. And um, I let other podcasts handle that. So what I do is I grab stuff from the, from the uh, guild bank, put it up on the auction house. If it doesn't sell, I, uh, I either use them if I can use them or I, uh, you know, just vendor them. And then I fill the slots as much as possible with stuff that's actually valuable and relevant uh, to the current expansion. So put in, I've put in tons of shark crystals. I've put in tons of ethereal shards, uh, tons of food because I'm cooking like a madman. And that's the reason that I'm right now. That's the reason I'm, I'm borrowing, borrowing from myself, you know, really using the guild bank as a bank because I'm leveling my cooking. And everything I cook is tossed back straight into the guild bank. So it's not like um, it's going straight to waste. Although some would argue that, yeah, but we need the best buffs we can get. So why would we use all of that food and blah, blah, blah. Well, I would argue, well, you know, challenge modes, baby. <laughs> Leveling alts, I don't know. But anyway, so dungeon runs, you know, speed things up. Farming runs. But anyways, I won't really argue with myself here. But the thing is... I have two, I think it's two more ways that I gotta level up, and um, I have been buying meat off the auction house, uh, trading in, what I did in the beginning is I traded meat in for other meats, but what I'm doing now is um, mostly trudging meat, trudging, trading meat for veggies, because vegetables is, I mean... When I plant my crops, uh, when I'm tilling, I usually plant, uh, either I plant what I need or I plant Motes of Harmony. Right now, I'm not even planting on a daily basis because I don't really, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, um, what, what you call that? I'm trying to minimize in-game time, in a sense. So, and it's kind of working out, but I mean, it is an addiction. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> and Mists is mother effing great you know i'm loving it it's great expansion 
Uh, but um, so what I'm doing is, wow, got to check the time. Hold on here. Because she flies seven minutes and then I got to start heading back. That means that it's six minutes before my alarm clock will uh, destroy this recording. But anyways, so what I do is uh, I trade for veggies as much as possible. And uh, I also realized that trading meat for veggies is way more economic than trading them for meats or fish, depending on what it is you trade for. Uh, like if it's, I'd rather trade uh, cheaper meats for more expensive kind of fish or meat because that's when it really adds up and that's when you really make sure that you save gold uh, one way or another or save time because I mean you could be fishing it all yourself uh, but I don't have time for that so I won't do it um, so what I've done is now lately is I've been trading them getting veggies and anything that's left over I put on the auction house right now I put it up higher than my competition hoping that you know all the cheap stuff sells and then they get to my part now I'm not sure how many other people actually care about leveling more than one way and cooking and whatnot but I know that there's at least a couple of not many especially not on horde side but there, there's a couple of raiding guilds there's a couple of pvp guilds two three maybe and I'm hoping that they might be like okay we gotta level this we got gold in the guild bank buy it out now you know, because that's the thing. When you have gold from the guild bank, it's not really, it's not the same kind of thing as, oh, it's my personal gold. You know, it's more like it's our gold, but well, gold, sorry. And, um, and I mean, that's also why it kind of feels like, hmm, should I use it? Should I not use it? But I mean, in the long run, it will be good. I mean, as an example, if I sell that relic, chi, g, trinket, whatever it is, um, if I sell it, I'm easily putting at least like if I get 50k for it, I'm easily putting 30k right back in right back into the guild bank. And then there's the cut, and then there's like stuff to buy mats for. So maybe I put back 20. And I mean that's a straight jump from you know you had 100k, it's down to 60 something. Uh, you have plus mats, you know, tons of flasks in there. You know, I made 65 flasks because I was leveling my alchemist, so I had flasks left for my hunter. But then I just thought, okay, I'll put it all in there. So instead of me having them on my ba in my bags and not raiding, you know, someone else can use them if they need. Because uh, it, it, all, it all comes down to making it as easy as possible for the raiders that are in there putting in the work. Um, that's the logic. You know, you, you want people to feel like, okay, cool, the guild is providing, you know, we got repairs, because there's tons of people, I don't know why, man, fuck me, dude, I don't know why people are so fucking whiny when it comes to repairs, you know, it, it's, it, you're raiding, you know, you're in there, you're dying because you're learning to fight a boss, you're experiencing content, and you're like, oh, I don't want to die, I don't know, but now, what I'm saying right there about repairs is not something that I'm, I'm not pointing at my guild as it is in, it, in its current state, there's a couple of people that will mention it, but not many at all. But in um, in Wrath, you know, that was a big issue for a lot of players, and that was, and that's why I also left. Uh, you know, I, I basically left the guild and played on uh, other tunes and and in other guilds and on other realms and just basically used other other well, did other things in Kata because my main guild just felt like oh shit I don't know I don't I don't really know if I'm I want to be a part of this anymore. But now misses out. Those idiots are out of the game, and I'm happy. You know, then there's you know the good people that actually don't play anymore, so that's kind of sad. Um, the dodge, I'm looking at you. So you know, when you come back, let me know. <laughs> but anyways, um, so with Iron Pot tokens, it's I'm really loving it. You know, it's a great way to use gold and your mind in various ways and you could undermine journal the whole process and be like okay this is the cheapest this is the most expensive whatnot but the thing with undermine journal is it does not take into account how many you how many you actually have on the auction house of the items so if if there is one turtle meat that's three gold and you're like oh cool there's 60 gold a stack when you go to the auction house it might actually be um a th you know a three stack that sells at three gold, and then the rest are at like eight, nine, whatever. So I, what I do is more, I go to the auction house, check, you know, check there, and then might combine it with the undermine journal. But um, you know, I, I do it more on the fly because I really like to be in game doing it. I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm a goddamn, um, what's that called, a stockbroker or something that's that's like looking at numbers, looking at numbers, and like I don't know. I wanna, I wanna play the game, you know. I'm kind of old school when it comes to that, and I mean, it takes more time. You lose more gold. I mean, it's. It's the way it is, but I'm enjoying myself more as well, so.
Actually, I'm going to turn off the alarm clock, so let's take a little break here. I'll be right back. Peace out. Yeah, and uh, cooking is, I'm liking it. You know, Jim Youngkin spoke about this on the last episode of Powered Gold, uh, the episode with Fade. I'm not sure which number it is. 47? Might be more, but uh, 47? I actually think it is 47. Wow. The past 12 episodes really flew by quick. Um, <laughs> that's nice. I like the way that he uh, he's doing them now, like, weekly, and I like that. It's good stuff. But it um, been a while since he could you know keep that schedule uh but um yeah so with cooking i mean it's really i'm really liking the fact and i think that's why i'm loving it right now it's it's the mix of gold making using your brain and the fact that it fucking helps the raid you know it helps it helps it helps your character to progress um when it comes to content uh you could easily use i mean really if we were serious now this skill is not a serious when it comes to pvp but i mean you could easily use that buff food and be like okay let's farm honor let's do this seriously you get five people into the battlegrounds and you just you know buff up with food and just basically you know kill things and do whatever and just fucking get you know get smashy uh you know but uh yeah <laughs> uh, i'll get back to you uh so let's see I don't know, it feels like I cut off my brain there, so I don't really know how to continue this. So I actually think we'll just call it there. But, um, nice, see ya, peace. Yes, uh, this is a Brainstorm's hotfix. <laughs> um, uh yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i just had to let's try that again i think this might work um this is a brainstorms hot fix okay so what do i mean by that um when i recorded the first time this is hopefully for episode three of uh, the wower gold brainstorms minicast uh when i recorded the first time as i told you when i recorded last time um the recording was effed so I was going to talk about Iron Pot tokens, which I have spoken about, no problem there. But when it comes to the banquets, I did not talk about how I was trading them in for veggies rather than food or meats or fish. So the thing is there with the trading, what you do, what you can do, depending on server and prices and whatnot. Um, what I noticed was on my realm, even if, I, uh, even if the veggies are cheap... Uh, you know, it takes a hundred of those to, you know, trade them in and uh, 60 fish. So, well, depending on the fish, I mean, golden carp is one of those fishes that takes 60. But um, so what I noticed was if I tried to trade in veggies, even if they were cheap, like let's say they go for 299 each, you know, that's 299 gold per bundle of groceries that you can turn in. Um, and that's very expensive. That's 300 a stack. Um, when, when I've been desperate, I've spent 200, which is more than I should. But, uh, I mean, I am not the patient kind of gold maker, crafter, whatever there is, gamer. So when I feel that I need to do something and I can do it within reason, I mean, I would not pay 20, 20 gold per, uh, meat. Uh, but I mean... Unless it's like, okay, I only need these last 10 or 5 or something like that. But the thing is, and today, my God, the weather is beautiful. I'm loving this. This is really beautiful. I'm, I'm, whew, yeah, I really love my lunch breaks, you know, recording this and, and just, you know, looking at the water and, and, you know, there's small, small waves. But so, no, really, but with the Iron Pot tokens, what I've done is I've been trading meats. And I've been buying them for, let's say, 10 G max per uh, per item, which is 200 gold a stack if you, um, you know, do the math. And um, if you trade them in for 5 meat, the chance of you making that gold back is very minimal because you might, I mean, there was uh, Karasang Puddlefish up for 50, 50 gold each, well, 49 something during the weekend. And I'm not even sure if they sold. But the thing there is, I mean, even because I was like, hey, I should trade them for that and use them. Not 
not to sell but to use them and something that i thought of since then is the fact that even if i would trade them in you only get five each so that means that you put out 200 to make 250 if you would sell them at 49 gold and then you have the auction house cut which might not be much but i mean it all it all adds up plus the time traveling and all that and after coming coming to that conclusion um I'm, you know, I still enjoy cooking a lot. I enjoy the fact that I'm cooking for the guild. I'm cooking for myself. I'm cooking for progress, uh, which is a great slogan. You know, while we're gold, we cook for progress. I'll make that a slogan. Um, uh, and anyways, and uh, <laughs> completely lost track there. And that's the thing. You know, you might lose track quickly when you uh, when you've eaten food and you know you're you're sitting by the lake here and you're. Uh, it's not even a lake. This is larger. And I'll keep on discussing this. Uh, you know, there's. I, I wish I had a boat. I wish I had that Betcham. What you mean, Lefty? I want that Betcham. You know, my own boat, so I can ride out. You know, lead us behind me. I want my boat. No, I'm sorry. Okay. So I did my little Al Pacino personification right there, which might get me kicked from the guild and from the world of the internet. Um, I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood. There's a lot of things happening. Real life is really, really heavy right now. There's intense things going on. Family issues, family structures. Um, but, you know, coping with them, learning how to deal with them, trying to, you know, retake control and whatnot is really uh, a great thing to do. And, you know, the whatnots, I don't even know what that is. It just comes in. So, you know, you, we all have these like, um, 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 um things going on. So that's what I do. I entertain myself with these odd words and they will change. So keep on listening. So with the Iron Paw tokens, and that's like a commercial in there in the middle of nothing. Uh, with the Iron Paw tokens, you know, trading in the 25 veggies is definitely the way to go. And that's the way that I want to spend them optimally. So I buy some food, you know, that's 200 and then I buy 25 veggies. So that's actually, I'm paying 200 gold for 25 veggies. Shit, that's another realization right there. Oh, well, it depends. The max price is 200 gold. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the max price that I'm paying for veggies is 200 gold. And then it might be, you know, you find stacks at, um, you know, 7 gold each, maybe 6, 650. Not many stacks, but, you know, you might get some at 750. So, I mean, that, that takes the price down a bit. Because I'm really trying to, wow... You know what? I think I'll log into the remote auction house and maybe get back to this. Um, and it's not that it's not like, oh, I don't want to spread false information. I mean, I'm Grays. I am false information. You know, I mean, look at my earlier uh, attempt at a podcast, misdirect. I mean, what the hell, dude? Uh, I was drunk and, and <laughs> having a blast. So uh, do not come for my uh, do not come to, you know, come listen to me if you want like accurate information you know if you want to be entertained and, and you know grab a couple of new or different or whatever ideas alternative ways of doing things you know this is the place to go but if you want like the fastest way to do things i'm not really sure that's it although i might think i'm the fastest because you know i just have that kind of ego Whew. <laughs> you know what I, i'm i'm loving it i'm, I'm oof. i can't even talk oh shit you hear that the birds laughing at me <laughs> damn ducklings you know, I'll take my AVP and snipe them out. Yes, that's a Counter-Strike reference. Uh, so, anyways, what I was saying is, uh, right now, I mean, it's winter, but uh, the sun is warm and I'm just feeling great. So, I'm calling it. It doesn't look like I can explain what, I'm, what I want to talk about, those Iron Paw token things. Uh, but really, keep, keep, uh, keep looking at the prices and make sure that, because th this is the thing. Uh, just to make it short, well, pff, that's gone, but just to conclude what I'm trying to talk about here, and that's the fact that if you have, let me check the time, as always, yeah, I'm screwed, uh, so if you have the, there's a lot of humor in here, humor, humor, whatever, okay, so, let's go, um, if you have the choice between food, meat, fish, veggies, whatever the fuck you want to call that, I mean, basically you have meats and veggies if you go that way, if you have the choice, uh, you might go to the Undermine Journal and, you know, make sure that you do not pay more than you should. Because that's another thing, you know, if, if I see veggies, because usually what I've done too is, 
there's not many veggies I've seen up for a good price that I've been wanting to use for the banquets because they require, I mean, it's either 25 or, uh, sorry, it's either 50 or 100. And you get, you know, you get five meats for that. So it's basically 10 veggies per meat, well, per banquet. And um, that means that, uh, yeah, I lost my mind. So I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about right now. And, I, and I'm just, you know, they're knocking on wood here. You know, the builders are, you know, renovating the house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. You know, sometimes, you know, when you, you, you're deep down in the problems and stuff, you know, sometimes you just gotta be happy that you're fucking alive, and that's what I'm feeling right now. You know, there's no fucking focus, and I'm loving it. Uh, it seems like I'll be, after this recording, I'll be heading for episode four, so I might need to upload these more often than I actually think I should or would or whatever, even can. Uh, so, gotta look into that. Um, checking in, I, I'm checking into iMovie. Um, managed to make my first movie in there which is one still of Grey's middle parts <laughs> you don't see the head you don't see the feet uh, you just see like uh, this belt with with a little skull and and parts of his hands I don't know so yeah that's how she's going but I mean the audio is in there you know the whole clip I had issues uh, extending the clip uh, but that's cool yeah, so, I mean, I think that episode will hopefully be up today. The first episode of this Wild we're Gold Brainstorms minicast. Um, so that should be nice. But uh, and if I get that ball rolling, hopefully I can, you know, fucking do two episodes. Oh my god, I'm so full of it. But anyways, never mind that. But I'll keep on recording these. And the funny part is the dates will be so odd. Because you'll be hearing this like a month later and be like, What the hell, Grace? Come on, man. Couldn't you release that quicker? And I can't. So that's that. Um, I'm enjoying the game. I'm fucking loving it. I'm now uh, Gray's the Master of Ways, which also rhymes, and um, got the title. So I got I got the whole shit there, you know. Uh, and I got the great banquets for ten man. We'll eventually get the one for twenty five. Um, well, there's no real reason to, but I will because hey, actually, when I think of it. Uh, I'm in a 10 man, 10, pop up 10 man guild, but eventually we'll probably go for 25s. And it's always been, especially since like Wrath something, it's been like... Because that's... Yeah, because Devotion popped up at the end of BC, early Wrath. And um, the thing there is that um, there was always this, we will not do 25 mans, you know, there's no... takes too much organization, takes too much time, you know, people... Uh, end up having troubles and you know there's you know we just can't raid lead that so you know we're really being like no we're 10 man guild we're 10 man guild but the funny part is we have so many members now that actually play the game so we might actually go for it eventually we'll see and I want to be you know Grace the master cook and that's not even the character that's in the goddamn guild so that's even better so I can you know act like I'm you know I'm Grace hey 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 but at the end of the day I'm not even Grace so who the fuck am I awesome show guys I'm loving it uh, so, so, so uh, uh, are you not entertained um, oh my god I was about to say Rich Fisher my god I mean Russell Crowe come on dude gladiator you know that shit oh yeah taking it back to mystery right now you know I too was a gladiator whatever the fuck he says who knows so yep that's it we're out and this is the Wild Gold Brainstorms minicast Episode 3, Gray's signing out, um, uh, eventually, whew, I hope I put, I hope that I, you know, have, my god, I just, I just hope, I really hope that I manage to update my uh, whatwerdgold.blogspot.com blog, uh, basically my whatwerdgold blog, because uh, it would be good, you know, to uh, put stuff up there that's related to this show, but Putting the show out is more important than actually updating that blog, so who knows, you know? But I mean, the name is just great. I'm loving it. Wobble Gold, I mean, that's just, it's, it's so killer. Um, and I mean, I should really get a Wobble, never mind that, that's future plans. Um, so, whatever. And if they happen, who knows? So, I'm out. See you guys.